Hi everyone, it is Thursday the 23rd of April and it's 10 to 1 in the afternoon. And this is another barricade light video. I've got some more. I think most of these are actually brand new barricade lights that I've uh, purchased from the same guy that I bought this from in the last video and two other lamps and I've forgotten what the other two were. <laughs> Oh, I can remember. It was that red doorman. Was it three or was it four I bought from him last time? The red doorman, that one. Oh, and the Tildorn Guardsman with the red and white lens. Um, and in the past, I've actually bought quite a few various different light things from him. My um, blue light bars that I've got with the police and fire on them, I bought those from him. Um, yeah, so quite a lot. So I've got a box on the floor with six lamps in, but before I get into that, another collector on the groups sent me this. This is a very large sign light to illuminate road signs and going by the size of this one, this illuminated the rather large um, signs that you'd get on the, the uh, busier roads like A roads and whatnot. Possibly dual carriageways. It takes two T8 tubes, um, which he didn't include, which is not a problem. I've actually got a pile of them spare in my closet. Um, and it's got the screws that hold the lid on the missing, which is why I've actually taken one set of tape off and taken the took and took I haven't taken the tape off this corner yet, but I should be able to find a couple of screws just to go in there. On I've got screws here, there, and everywhere. And the tubes aren't a problem, so my plan is to actually pick a wall and find a way to put this on the wall. <laughs> I'm thinking of perhaps taking it apart and drilling a couple of holes in here to screw this up the wall. Anyway, I'll put that there. Now, as well, before we get into the box, um, I've got another lamp that I've acquired recently which is actually quite a rare one amongst collectors. As far as I know, um, I'm the only collector, the, um, I'll try and spit the words out, shall I? I'm only the third collector that owns one of these. As far as I know, I could be wrong. Um, and it's one of these. That is made by Visibility which was a company founded, I believe, back in the 1970s at some point, mid to late 70s, uh, by a director of Dorman Smith that left Dorman Smith. He left Dorman Smith and uh, went his own route and made his own lamps. And apparently visibility is Italian made. Um, but for this specific design, this is the, only the third one that I know of. It's a little bit beaten up, but not in bad condition. I mean, it's not broken, it's not damaged. It's got two other names on there. It's got Hardens, which is the tool distributor. So you would have uh, hired this or bought this from them. There actually used to be um, a place in town where you could hire lamps and things, but I don't think they exist anymore. And Kelly, um, we suspect, is Kelly Communications, which I looked into because I was curious. And uh, it's a um, company that started, or was founded in 1985. And I've actually just realised a bit of a crack in the lens there. Which is a bit sad on a rare lamp like that. It's not big damage. I don't think I can... No, the lenses aren't screwed together so I'm not even going to attempt to take those apart. Because of this sort of plastic I can guarantee as soon as I attempt to take that apart it's going to crack. So best to leave that as it is and look after it. But anyway, one last thing before we get into my box. This style of lamp has had a question mark over it for ages because a lot of the more knowledgeable collectors have suspected these were made by visibility. 
Um, but there's nothing actually rented, writ, rented, written on these to give any hint or indication of who made these. It's not even a made in China or anything on that like that on it. Um, but now that I've got this one and I can compare them, apart from the battery box being slightly larger on this one, it's exactly the same style. So. It was just, like I said, it was suspected these were made by visibility, and I'm, I'm inclined to believe that. So, we can sit those there. Anyway, I've got these six lights in this box. That I've bought from a fellow friend and collector of barricade lights and whatnot. Um, he's a... I've got one, two, three, four, five blue light bars up on my shelf, and I've got them all from him. All uh, X service, all been taken from decommissioned vehicles. Um, but while I'm a subject, and he's not paid me to do anything, or to say this, or ask me to do this, response vehicle lighting. If I remember to, I'll put a link down below to their website. They do all sorts of vehicle lighting. Not just light bars, but uh, work lights, search lights, other auxiliary lighting and whatnot, you name it, it's on that site. And they also um, sell blue light bars and whatnot to the emergency services. So, worth a look if you need some work lights or something for your vehicle. I've actually got one of their LED beacons up on the shelf that he sent me ages ago as like a little free gift and uh, it's actually pretty good I've seen a lot of LED beacons on various vehicles and a lot of them are crap that one is actually pretty damn good it's just a lot of them I've seen them on tractors and they look dim as hell you can barely see them until you get up close which to me defies the point of actually having a warning beacon on the vehicle Anywho, one more thing actually before we get into it. I'm not sure if this is actually meant to be in this box or what, but this was in here as well. I'm going to have to ask him. Um, it is an LED light tail cluster. Um, Is that meant to be 247 or 247 lighting? I will have to uh, just ask him about this and uh, he might. I might do a little review on it. it. Looks like it's all ready to be wired up. It looks brand spanking new. It has a couple of marks probably from storage on this. It's definitely not been on a, any vehicle. Voltage 12 or 24 volt DC. Oh, it's dual voltage. So does that mean that detects the voltage itself, or do you have to make a little wiring modification in now? I don't know. Ah, I've actually just realised you can't get into this. It's all sealed. There is hiding right under this <laughs> reflector a little screw. Anyway, I'm get. Can you see it? I think he's lost his box. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, ask him about that. So, you can look after that as well, Nemo. Right, now, what this video is actually about. <laughs> Six barricade lights. Three of them are Till Dawn Guardsmen's. And I featured one in the last barricade, barricade light video, not a barricade laid. Um, yeah, I've got another three. I'm now missing one colour, which is green. Got every other colour lens variation that they did, to my knowledge, except green. I've actually got a pair of green lenses, but no lamp to put them in. And trying to find one is actually like looking for a needle in a haystack. Anyway, so I've got a red one, all red. Unlike the other one, which was red one side, white the other, which was used in Ger Germany. Yeah, 
swivel head, in very good condition. Missing the bolt, but I'm not really fussed about the bolt. They're not going to be used for anything anyway. <laughs> the other one is the white lens. I suppose you could call it a clear lens, although you can't really see all the way through it. White both sides. It's got some writing on the top there. I was trying to read what it said. Well, I said the bolt is missing. Sounds like they could be in the bases. Hang on a minute. Yep. Let's have a look. Let's just pop the bottom off, if I can. Actually, I'm going to need a uh, screwdriver or something to get the bottom off, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, yep, the bolts and everything are in the bottom. And these do actually look brand new, so I've got the bolts. And you get the keys, which is not bad, because I've actually broken a couple of mine. I've broken the pins off. Oops. So, I'm going to put that back in there so I know where they are. That's what I'm only noticed because I rattled this one and thought, hang on a minute, what's that inside? Right, so there's one more of those, which is what they call the lemon lens. Because it is actually lemony colour. I'm not sure how well that's coming up on camera, but it is like a lemon colour. Yep, got everything in that one as well. Okay, and the other one, which I think is also brand new is the uh, Mark 1 Pilot 360 with a lemon lens. Now, I did remember, because I've bought all the other colours from him last year, I think it was, um, but I couldn't afford the lemon lensed one. And I did say I was going to buy that later, um, except I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Until you put all these um, lamps up for sale on the... Um, collectors groups on Facebook and I was like oh yeah I was going to buy one of them <laughs> so I've now got all the colours in the 360 at least the Mark 1 360 I don't have any of the um, colours in the Mark 2 apart from amber so maybe if you still got them I might get a couple next month I've only had a bunch of these for sale actually I believe he has still got some right so now I've got a cup of older I think they're older. <laughs> Nissan Nitro Lamps. I believe I've actually got one with a red and white lens on it. But I've got... I think you have. They look the same anyway. But I've got this one. And I, think, I believe he said one was from the 80s at least. And one was a later version, but I'm not sure which one it was. That one's got a different circuit in it, so it could be this one. I, think I thought I'd have a couple of these as well. Didn't realise Nissan had been around for quite so long. Right, that's now an empty box. Uh, I suppose we could see if some of these work because I have got a battery up there. I've got two batteries up there actually. The only thing is, can't get the base off. Yeah. Oh. Now, usually when he sends these, he sends them with them turned on, um, sends them in the turned on position. And uh, it's actually a chap that sells a lot of lamps on eBay. I can't remember his eBay name at the minute, but he does the same thing. He'll send them to you with them turned on. So as soon as you put the battery in, they should start flashing. Or at least, come on. Yep. Because of the colour of that lens, it looks a bit more white than it does anything else. Right. Uh, I've got a key for that lamp so it doesn't matter that they're missing. Right, let me get this one open. Yeah, oh yeah, this one's got a different circuit in it. I don't know which one's the um gonna be the later one or the newer one. Let's pop this in. Uh, 
And this one's got a uh, photo cell in it. So when I put it in the shade down here, it's actually flashing. It not flash like that, is it? But as soon as I bring it up into the light, it stops flashing. So you... Let's do that. I was going to say, you might have to take my word for it. But... Yeah. So this one... Maybe... I don't know. And all I know is one of them's a later one than the other. But I don't know which one. What's next? This one's a nice easy one, let's put it in here. Come here. Alright, that's going to go on there. Is there a way around to put the battery? Sometimes there's a little plus mark on the base. Yep. It's supposed to go that way in. Another one with a photo cell, so hang on. Okay. So these lemon lenses are actually looking a bit more white. Whoop, mm, dropped on the floor. Alright, stand back that side. Let's have a look at this one. I shouldn't have to use anything to turn this one on. Like I said, they should be in the on position. Can't leave the 360 ones in the on position because you have to twist the lens to turn one off. Oh, it may not actually be on. Selling them. Yep. <laughs> that will be why. Right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to turn these lights off and make life a hell of a lot easier. If I can just uh, squeeze past you for a minute. switch. There we go. There we go. So it's going to be, look a bit dark for me on camera. See? But we'll be able to see these uh, whoops, lights better. Oh, pardon me. Right. I hope. One of these where you can change it to static as well. No, nope. it's not like the other one I got, which uh, you could actually change it. I don't know if it's actually meant to do that, but you could change it. <laughs> Okay. 
a slow flash on that one. It was off. That's unusual. They're usually on. Uh, right, one more. Well, I can actually show you the rare one as well because uh, that's actually got a battery in it. Probably would be easier to put the battery in properly, but to be honest, I want to give a quick demo of them. So, there we go, confirmed and working. said for this one I should have kept a key out of there <laughs> um, I'm just hoping the peg on that key is going to fit it right good for this because it's not got a light sensor in it go in and I'm not going to force it because last time I did that I broke one. Let's try. Let's see if I can get in there with this. There we go. There we go. Actually works quite well this one. Did need a bit of a clean up in there to get it to work when I first got it but it works. So, more hamster to collection, and, uh, you know, three more tildorns to hang on the wall, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I can do that another time, tomorrow or something. Uh... Wouldn't mind hanging these up somewhere as well. I might hang them up there actually. Oh, pardon me. Right. Oh, they are rotating lenses. That one, I might try and clean that one up a bit. Well, I could leave it as it is, it just shows it's been used. That one's actually missing its Nissan sticker though, but they are both Nissans. label. It's made me want to go and get my um, red and white lensed one. I've got red one side, white the other. But not right this minute. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you liked the video and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.